Okay, everyone, I'm really sorry for the delay. Uh, we are finally ready to start. So here we have today uh, Tule from Ericsson Italy, and let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are so sorry about the mistake. Uh, now, I'm Tule from Ericsson from Italy. Today, I'm very happy to introduce you topic about spot analysis with Python. How many people here like spot? Oh, that's very good. How many people like football? Wow, it's very good. So this topic, I will talk about something about the football. Uh, we know that we have a lot of um, things can analyze this quick football. For example, match, player, fan. But in my presentation today, I will guide for you uh, how to analyze this. Sport week in Python and the K is a real time match tracking. Uh, sorry, because I want to show you something we got in the, in the data uh, from uh, IoT data. Um, but it's very hard to see so now. Okay, uh, let's summarize. For example, uh, uh, you want to take the information match time tracking, you have to put a lot of sensor inside the body of player or behind the sock, under the shoe, to know the information of player on the map. And for example, we got the information from the body of player. We can got the information like the energy or the head, heart rate. The under the, uh, behind the sock or under the shoe, we can know the information of position of player. Or they put a lot of sensor be inside the ball to know the information of ball. And the, when we summarize all the information from the sensor, and we have a data, and we analyze this data. We know a lot of things, uh, like the position and everyday activity of player in a match. So the sensor will send the information to the data sensor via the Wi-Fi Bluetooth, and then we got the data. We use a lot of applications to analyze the data. And the case today, I will guide for you how to analyze it, football with Python. For example, we got this information from sensor. That's only very simple. We have a timestamp, we have a device ID, and we have a position of player like export and whiteboard. What when can we do with this data and we, how Python do it? Uh, some information that we can do with the Python, I suggest you today is um, we can do read time, read time distance, total distance of player, and velocity of player, the turning point player, and the run of player. Uh, but the, uh, in, in my presentation today, I will guide you step by step how to calculate the velocity, the turning point, or the run. Uh, the first time when we have a data, um, the op, like the the IoT data, we have a data around the, the first half of the game. What can we analyze this with Python? The first time, try to import some library and note the data, and then we see what we have. A, uh, this guy, I saw for you the result that we have already uh, calculated the math time by second, by minute, uh, the distance and total distance of um, player on the map. And we saw the his. Uh, in row, and we try to know how many data we got from uh, the own device. And here we know we use a data frame dot save, and we know the total size of data that we have. So here we have uh, around the first half of game, we have uh, less than 600,000 records get from the central. And we, here we have a S column, uh, timestamp, device ID, uh, position of layer export, and wipe off. The math time per minute, math time per second, the distance and total distance. And we know how many device we use to record the position, the information of player in the match. And here we can use a device dot unique and we know the name of device. And we can use the name of this device. We know total how many device we have. And we try to summarize the data that we have. We know the uh, the mass time is 46 minutes. So maximum is, a, uh, this means the 
The time of this map is 46 minutes, and total distance of um, maximum total distance is less than a kilometer. And now, how to calculate the velocity? In order to calculate the velocity, we have to know the um, distance and the, the different time of it because we got from the sensor. So we do some script to do it. We uh, try to collect the data of each device, and we calculate the different time record from device. And we have uh, one more column, different time. When we use uh, this, um, we ha in order to know the value of this, um, of, of this column, we can use a uh, value count to know it. And we see all the data is a different 0, 0 0.5. We have an 11 symbol is a zero, zero because here we use a 11 device, and the first record got from each device we put is zero. So we do similar, and then we have a velo velocity of um, layer. And for example, if the sensor sent to data center every 50 milliseconds to the um, position of player on the map, we can use a distance divide for 0, 0 0.5. But I said that you that this way is not much sure that all the information we got from sensor is, uh, is the same. So we try to use the first way maybe good. And now we see if we do the same and we have the same data velocity and the speed is the same. Okay, so now we know uh, who is uh, run faster. We, we can summarize the data and know the maximum of velocity here is uh, less than 10 meg per second. So this means this player run very fast, like unclick. Okay, so if we, we want to know how many times player go to the weak drone, we can calculate drone. We have a lot of ways to calculate drone. This, uh, for example, three zones, we divide defend zone, nurture zone, and attack zone. And we can use it with Python very easy. We separate three, four by the, the long, this means the ex export, and we divide three, and we try to do it. But, and then we have one more column, three zone. And now, how about very complicated zone here? What can we do with this? For example, it's a zero. What we can do with it? We try to note the information of the red point, and we separate uh, the X port and Y port. Uh, I, um, the, um, like the um, response for X red point, and here we try to separate X to six part from X one to X six and Y from Y1 to Y3, and one of good way I suggest you to do it, here is we use a dictionary. If we separate the 18 drone, 18 drone, and then we use a dictionary, get the value, uh, like the value and key and value. Key is a result that we got from export, and Y is, uh, and Y, from is a Y post. And then we compare with dictionary and we know the role of player. And we have one more column at the role. And now, how to know the turning point of player? It's not easy. It's quite uh, complete. Okay. And how we can do it? Uh, one of the algorithms we can apply to solve this case is uh, Rammer, Dogger, Pucker. The main of this uh, algorithm is give the curve composer of the line segment to find a similar curve with few points. Here you see we have a lot of points, but the similar uh, curve is a less point, but the point have to, the, sub, uh, the consist point of the subset that have to, de uh, to define from the original curve. And the, the algorithm defines the, dis, the dissimilar based on the maximum the distance between the original curve and the semi, uh, the simplified curve. And 
we know that actually the turning point will be part and it's we depend on the angle that we specify and have to lie between the point. So when we want to do it, we have to calculate uh, by three main steps. So first step, here is we calculate the distance between the subset point. And the second, we calculate the angle between the subsequent point. And in the last step, we can look how distance and angle change between the subsequent point. And here's uh, some script I so uh, I uh, said, suggest you to do. Here is a uh, we write a function to calculate the distance and the point line distance, and we use the uh, algorithm Bremer Dogger Perker to simplify the path. And now we calculate the angle, and then we find the turning point for each divide. And if you want to apply for total divide you can use uh, this function to do it. And if you want to do something to plot the plot, uh, the turning point of layer, you can use uh, this function to do it. And when we use uh, the minimum angle is of P divide 6, this means 30 degree, we have uh, the turning point of layer with divide number 9. And here is the turning point of layer number one and number two, number three and number four, number five and number six, uh, number eight and number seven, and we have a similar. And then we have a, one more column, like turn angle. Zero, this means this point is a turning point. And one, this means this point is a turning point. And before, visualize the data, we need to summarize the information of all the data that we have, and also summarize all the information that we have from each device. And we have a data. And then we see from, that's only few information we got from the sensor, like timestamp, device ID, position, export, and wipeout. We can use a Python to analyze this, we can use a, we can calculate a lot of things like the math time, math time per second, distance, total distance, velocity, uh, three zone, ST zone, turning point, and so on. And before one to visualization, we try to save the file and visual it. Um, because I have uh, some problem with laptop console here, so I will show you some main thing about the visualization with Tableau. Okay. 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 Uh, when we summarize the information with the tableau, we have the information. It's the total the data we got from all the sensors in the first half of the game. It's very hard to know which divide, right? So if we put the divide in the uh, color, we can separate uh, X divide. And now it's very hard to see X divide, so we can choose X divide for filter. Uh, maybe if you see when I visualize with Kaplo, you can see much more better, but I'm sorry, we can see by uh, picture. So now I choose layer one. Who is that? It's a for sure goalkeeper, right? And who is that? Defender right back, right? And who is that? Defender, left back. He defend, right? He defend. He is middle fair because he always stay in the middle fair, uh, in the middle and uh, in the defend zone and also the attack zone. He's a right mid, mid fighter. He's a mid fighter. He's a striker, right? Because he let go to the defend position. And he's a forward or uh, attacker. And he's left middle fight. Okay, so when we summarize all the position of player in the match, we know the uh, they use a four for two formation for this um, 
for the first half of the game. And now, if you want to know some special information with, play, with each player or all the players in the match, we can put some information like the match time per second or match time per minute to filter and also divide ID to filter. And we choose, for example, here I choose that's only divide two. And I want to know what he do in second from 26 to 20 seconds in 46 minutes, and this is the result. And we see we divide three colors. This means uh, 46 minutes, we divide three steps. The first step is the rest. This means for the first 15 minutes, and the second is uh, from uh, minutes 15, uh, 16 to minutes uh, 30, and from the last part is uh, green for the, the uh, minutes. Um, 31 to 45. Okay, so we can know. And here, for example, we summarize the information of all the players with velocity more than 7.92 and 7.92 of 46 minutes. And we know the information that they, we, have, we got with velocity of all the players from, from seven, more than seven, because the max, here is the maximum. And if we want to know the velocity of one divide, of all minutes of um, hold the, of the first part of game, and velocity more than six, zero point fifty, uh, we can do the same. We choose one player, here and we separate each device. This means each color will give us the period, uh, each period of player on the game. And how to know the velocity by time? We can, can we can use a bar chart to do it. We call all the player and we calculate 45, 46 minutes, and then we know who is a uh, run fast. And here is the information. We know that player number two run very, very fast. Uh, more than 8.7, this means 9.7 max per second. This means very, very fast, like the arm click. And here is the run. It's a total position of player number three, but divided by run. This means uh, we, here we have a run one, which is, is a blue. And orange, round two, and three is a round red one. And how about 80 round? For, for divide ID number nine, and we see here we can separate information of player by the round, 80 round. And we know that all the, they stay almost in, maybe I think in round uh, 10. And here is the turning point of player number six. Here's the total of the turning point. This means the position that they rotate. Yeah. And here is the similar path of player number six. For example, if I want to know the position of player number three from minute one to minute six, and all we can see here, they have a, the, the point, the blue boy here is a, uh, the position that they the player turn, and here's the, play, the turning point in re relation to the empty round, and we know how many times they turn in the round one, round two, or round 18. And now, we w if we want to know each round, the player got the high velocity. We can use a bar chart to do it. We choose all the information, and we know in general in drone two. This means here they divide three three zones: uh, the defense zone, nurture zone, and attack zone. And we see in the nurture zone, the player got high hit velocity. Okay, with the original data, we can calculate a lot of things and. Uh, 
if you want to know how to calculate the velocity, the path, the combination of layer, for example, they transfer the ball together, how to create a professional dashboard for football and the performance when we work with big data and see you in next workshop. Thank you for the attention. Uh, okay. Any questions? Uh, we will have a coffee break, so um, let's keep the questions quick and uh, maybe ask them afterwards. You want to just ask one? And Can you give some background? Uh, who did this? Why, why they did this? Who paid for it? And what's going to happen uh, with these results? Uh, can you repeat? Um, uh, uh, did you do this uh, uh, in your private time or did your company do this? Why, why did you dig into this? What are you going to do with the results? Where does this lead? I don't understand the question. Maybe you can yeah. ask. What can we do with this information? Ah, okay. Uh, in order to, for example, we, we note on the information because that's what we summarize from type of device. This means the device we put in under the shoe. So we know that's only the information, the position of player. We know the activity of player on the mess. And if we have another information of other data, like the heart rate, the energy, we can analyze this. Okay. Uh, the player is very strong in the game and they get uh, like very good performance. And if we have another information like information of ball, we know how many times they kick the ball how many times they transfer the bone for another people, and how many times they do, and we monitoring any information of player on the game, and we use it to analyze this online. For example, you see the way FIFA to, FIFA to analyze it, and when you see the math, for example, online, uh, the uh, live math, uh, Barcelona and Real Madrid, they analyze it like the way, because they got information from data. They summarize how many time, they fix the bone, they transfer the bone, and they process the ball. So this way we try to do it. But here, I show you the data, that's only the position of player on the mat. If I can, I can, uh, I will hope I can show you another information, like how to, they kick the bone, how to, they transfer the bone, and how they, how, um, how, um, when they have a score, and we know control everything, uh, the information of match, of football match, yeah. Actually, we use a lot of um, like the software to analyze it, but here I use the offline data and use the Python to show you that Python can do it like as a software, and we can do everything with Python. Okay, so up next, uh, we have a coffee break, so please uh, direct your questions at the speaker uh, then, and let's give her another round of applause. Thank you so much for attending my topic. I hope you enjoy it. And if you uh, favor some player, you can do similar with player. My favorite player in.